pre-shot thoughts, what were we thinking? I gotta blast it, it's straight oh, okay. into the wind. A total yak job. What is happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Me and Kelsey are back out here at Old American. After we did the wife caddy challenge, you guys really wanted to see more golf of Kelsey. Now we did agree to do a full 18 hole course vlog, which will be coming. Yeah, we did. Kelsey has her first ever golf lesson on Wednesday with Cameron McCormick. We're gonna film it so you guys can see it. And I thought it'd be a cool idea to do like a baseline to see where she's at, do the lesson, have her practice a little bit, and then come out and actually do the full 18 hole course vlog. I'm really nervous because one, I've never played a full round of golf before. Two, I normally only film it and I get tired by like hole 12 and I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go home. So having that like frustration level of either not hitting a good shot or not hitting a ball at all. <laughs> like a swing and a miss, <laughs> man. Anyway, this, today's gonna be really fun. So we're gonna do a three hole baseline here for Kelsey. She's gonna be playing a par three, a par five, and a par four. Kelsey, what do you think you're gonna shoot? What's your goal? My goal, it's like I don't play golf ever. I think 11 over. Ooh, okay, 11 over. So yeah. you're going for basically almost like triple bogey golf. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit higher. One triple and two quads. Guys, yeah. if you don't know, it is freezing cold out here and it's really, really windy. We picked a tough day for Kelsey to do her baseline. Hole number six is where we're on. We're gonna be playing hole six, hole seven, and hole nine out here at Old American. I also loosened the this morning. Ooh. So these swings might be powerful. <laughs> okay. Hole six here, 150 yards is a par three. We got the group in front of us on the green right now. You can see the pin is short left in the front, I guess. What do you have first off? What club is this? I have my three wood. A lot of my clubs I can't really hit because how I swing, I lift up when I come through my swing. So uh, I'm really nervous about my irons today, but I'm just gonna try to go right of the pin because there's a lot of green on that side. Strategy. And if I shoot at the pin, then that's great too. First tee shot of her baseline career, guys. Let's give this video some likes right now. If you want to see more of Kelsey and her journey through golf, like this video right now. Oh my God, it went dead straight. She cracked it though. I'm in the bunker. Did it go straight in the bunker? It's in the bunker. Oh boy. Bunker shot coming up. <laughs> So to make this as legit as possible, guys, I'm not gonna help Kelsey at all with her swing. That makes no sense, because uh, she's got a really good lesson with Cameron McCormick, who knows a lot more about golf than me. But I will help her with her shot selection a little bit, um, because I want her to do well. So she is in the bunker right here. That is actually a tough lie, because the lip is right in front of her. But honestly, all she's trying to do right here is get this ball out, and I think she has a good chance. All I'm going to tell you to do, babe, is take a full swing, try to hit the sand, rather, an inch behind the ball. Okay. If you want, you can kind of set your club there, yep, so you can kind of have an idea. Okay, that's illegal, but that's fine. Patrick, <laughs> that's a Patrick Reed mood. Wait, for... I didn't pull this shit. <laughs> I didn't pull it. Alright, not as bad as Patrick Reed, but very similar. So the goal here is to take a full swing. Now open the club face up just a little bit, too. Okay, that's also illegal. Oh gosh! Okay, you topped the ball, you didn't hit any sand. Look at where it's at. Yeah, that, oh jeez. Okay, you gotta get freaky now. Full swing, literally hit an inch behind the ball. Full swing. Oh, okay. You are getting dominated with the dirtiest oh, lies. God. You gotta get out of here. Four shot. Oh. Okay, but God. you have a good lie now. You have a good lie. Oh, illegal. Illegal activity in the sand. Oh, why didn't you do that the first time? That was incredible. Post sand trap interview, guys. I got robbed on this freaking. I d I don't know who raked that, but you did get unfortunately robbed with some of the sand situations. Your last sand trap was money, so I think you're good moving forward. If you're ever in the sand again, you know what to do. I know what to do. Kelsey's six shot here. She's electing to putt this just off the green, aiming way left, which is an interesting strategy, but we'll see if it pays out for her. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was magnificent. Thank you. After an absolutely incredible lag putt here, she has this three and a half footer for seven.
Wow! What a hole! So my putting is kind of okay. <laughs> yeah! If you didn't have that like really bad luck in the sand trap and you would have gone out right away, you would have made a four. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey getting some practice swings in here. Hole number seven, guys, is a par five. 406 yards from the red tees, from the front tees. Kelsey going with the big stick. Got the driver. Hopefully go straight and not to the right. She is ready to lock and load. Explosion up the right hand side of the fairway. And that's gonna roll out. The fairways are firm. What do you think about that? I topped it. Topped it a little bit. Alright. You're in play, you're not in the bunker. Could be worse. <laughs> she has 224 yards to the pin. Where do you think the pin is, babe? Uh, right in front of me. You think it's that one? Yeah. That's actually the next hole. The pin is actually... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sick hole, but it'd be really, really hard. Oh, wait, yeah, there you go. The pin's over there on the right. Okay. Yeah. It's over there. Okay. I was like, dang, that's really far. Yeah, it, that would've been a really hard hole. So you have all these bunkers in front. Yeah. You just need to basically get a shot over these bunkers. So whatever club you feel that you can get high enough and far enough, you really only need to hit 60 yards. But your main goal right now is to hit something over these bunkers. Probably my driver. Oh boy. False on the driver, I took a seven iron. <laughs> I shut down the driver off the deck real fast. He said, that's a no. You really just need to hit like a 50, 60 yard shot. So anything with good ball contact over the bunker, we're trying to take the trouble out of this hole. Oh, that's not a bad little punch swing, okay. Oh, you're over. You're over. Okay, kind of dark horse to the right. Where did that hit? Do you know? Do you have any yeah. idea where it hit on the club? No, on the club. Oh, like right here. Oh, you hit it off the toe? I think so. Okay. Is, well, it got I, air though. Did I hit it off the toe? I'm not sure. It was kind of clunk, clanky, like so that? it might have been. I thought it was either, yeah, I thought it was either here or here is one of the two. I don't know, but it went like this. Got it over the bunkers. I think you get a free drop because that actually might be in play. So we're gonna take a free drop to the left. I have technically six more shots based off of what I said that I wanted to shoot. I'm going with a hybrid. You got 153 yards. 153 yards. Dark I horse hybrid. hybrid. I don't like these clubs. Well, get positive vibes here. Positive vibes. Take out prax swings and we're getting this on the green. 153 yards, Kelsey. Third shot. Oh! Gets the cart path bounce. It is rolling towards the front of the green. She's, I think you got a chip putt. I think you got a chip putt. Kelsey preparing her fourth shot now, guys. Trying to find the clubs. Okay, where are you going with? Sand wedge? Sand wedge and my putter. A little putter, okay. We're gonna be up on the green. Do you wanna say anything before your chip putt? Uh, I am terrible at chipping as well. I'm just terrible at it all. Well, golf's a very difficult sport. But you can see, you're gonna have to get a little bit of like a half swing on this to get it all the way to the hole. Yeah, because the pin is back. All the way in the back. Good luck. Okay, Kelsey right now trying to figure out exactly how the heck you hit this little bit of a pitch. This is like a 30, 40 yard shot. Ideally, where you want to land it is probably just short of this ridge. There's a little ridge right here. Have it bounce up and then roll out the rest of the way. But really right now, all she should be focusing on is good ball contact. Oh my gosh, that was dirty. With some sauce, she's on the green. Kelsey's second hole of her career, guys. She has a par putt on this very difficult par five. All the way here in the back, she's gotta give a good pop to get this all the way back here, guys. The wind is whipping. She hits it hard, needs to slow down just a little bit, runs it a little bit by, is gonna have a testy down the hill, downwind putt. All right, what are you thinking about this one? Uh, aim right here. Okay, left edge. Left edge. And it's downwind, downhill. Okay. So you really just need to get it going and you'll be perfect. A little less than that. Yeah, that's a stroke. Does it disappear? Oh my gosh, guys. That's a bogey. That's a six. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. 
That was a great hole. My hands are frozen, but I'm not right. That was a great hole, guys. Holy cow. It's we have windy. Look at my little wispies. It's a little bit windy out here, guys. We made it to one of my favorite holes at Old American. Hole number nine. It's a par four. It's about 272 yards from the front tees. This is what we're looking at. So Kelsey needs to basically hit a good drive somewhere over here. And this is a force carry. The first force carry she will see. So the question is, how does she operate when she has to hit the ball over something? You already did a pretty good job this on the is last hole. Into the wind. Yeah, it's also into the wind. I feel like I'm on the Titanic right now. You just need a good ball contact, babe. Pre-shot thoughts. What were we thinking? I gotta blast it. It's oh, straight okay. into the wind. She's gotta blast it. That means she's gonna swing hard. That means who knows what's gonna happen here, guys. A total yak job. It is right, but it should be findable over there. Okay, the wind kind of took it. Dang it. We have found Kelsey's ball. She's trying to figure out. I don't know. I think I don't know what she's trying to figure out. But hopefully I didn't lose it because it's kind of hard to find the balls over here. Oh, it's up here. Okay. So pretty good swing. Just oh, over here in the nice. fescue stuff. Nice. That is the force carry I was talking about, guys. Very difficult hole. She's gonna bush nail it. 172 yards. Okay, so you're definitely not getting there in one. No, so, so all we're gonna try. Like 80 yards out. Well, do you want to actually shoot to see exactly how far you need to go? Or are you just guessing? Yeah, kind of shoot where you want the ball to land. There you go. 71 yards. Okay, 71 yard shots. What are you looking for? Here, I'll hold that for you. Thank you. Getting over the ball, feeling confident. Aim a little bit more to your right, babe. There you go. Yak City gets a kick off the ridge. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're getting the ball in the air now. What the heck is going on? All right, I have 112 yards. I'm going to go again with a seven and not hit it as high as I did. Wait, no, that was perfect. Yeah, but if it goes that high, it's going to land right in the water. Oh, because of the wind? Okay. So she's going to try to keep the flight down. I'm really liking the practice swing she's doing. Needs to get off her right side just a little bit. That is potentially on the green. <laughs> Third shot, par four here, 112 yards. Kelsey, making moves in the golf world, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was the best shot I've ever seen you hit. <laughs> what a swing. <laughs> that feel good? Yeah. Holy cow. The green on this hole is absolutely phenomenal. You can see all the shots, approach shots, are coming in from this, which is a very, very thin green. And it rolls off really easily short, and it rolls off pretty much all around the green. Kelsey just missed a little short left. She's in the screen sign bunker. As long as it's not a footprint, she oh, should be all right. It is. No. I'm going to give you a free drop because this is ridiculous. I think this is animals. I think I don't think that's a foot. I think that yeah, there's like animal prints. I'm giving it a free drop, guys. I've given Kelsey a free drop, guys. Honestly, I feel like she just got absolutely dominated in the last sand trap cuz there was like literally massive mounds and I wasn't going to have her do a Patrick Reed situation, but I gave her a free drop. I raked it. She's got a good clean line now. Who's gonna get it up on the green? Okay, over the green though. You can chip from there, not bad. Ah, Did you just hit it. too much of the ball? I tapped it, I tried to go under it. It's actually the biggest shot of the day here. I might chip putt this in. Oh my gosh, she's gonna try to chip putt this in, guys. You can see what she's I left know, I with. I said what if. I'm not gonna try, I just said what if. I mean, that would be insane. Basically, we talked about it a little bit off camera. She just needs to land it just short of the green and it'll do the rest. It'll just roll. Just really needs good contact with the ball here. Oh, she did. Get up there a little bit. Oh, okay, just a little short, but you're putting from there. She's lining this one up. She wants this one to go in, guys. This, I believe, is her sixth shot. So this is for a double, and this would be a heck of a three-hole stretch here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. She gave it a good run. Did you think you made it? I did. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Your Dang putting it. is insane. <laughs> All right, focus in here. Final hole. What are you thinking? Right edge. 
right edge. All right. Oh, she tugged it just a little bit, guys. All right, clean that up. Uh, it's all right. Take your time here. Take your time. Yikes. There you go. All right. Oh, man. Dang. Here's the thing, though. You hit a lot of really, really good shots. And I think there's a couple shots in there that you can immediately get rid of really quick with a little bit of practice and definitely F after that lesson. Ooh. But I think everyone watching this is really impressed. <laughs> so you shot three over, or no, so that's four, and then you were five, you shot nine over. You beat your, you beat what you wanted, you wanted 10. Oh my gosh, okay guys. I'll take it. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below. It really helps out a lot. We do appreciate it. Also, any comments, we'll respond. We'll get Kelsey on there responding too, since she's the star of this video. <laughs> Cannot wait to see what she can do in her lesson. And what'd you think? Did you have fun? Was it good? Fun. It was all right? Even though I had some like shots. And the I weather, the weather was cold. Yeah, it's cold out here I mean, and I windy. I think if it was a nicer weather too, you would have done a lot better as well. So. Blame it on the weather. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.